Hey guys, welcome back to Hornsai Mountain Biking. Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to rebuild a mountain bike platform pedal. Now, I'll be using a catalyst pedal from Pedaling Innovations. However, most platform pedal designs are very similar to this. First, let's take a look at the anatomy of a platform pedal. You have a rubber grommet, you have a bushing, you have two bearings. Inside of there, you have your, uh, you have a nut washer, and then you have your end cap. And those fit just about like that under your pedal. So let's get to it. So here's the tools that I used. Got a, a couple of six mil uh, straight keys, Allen keys. These can both be drivers. They could both be T handles. I just happen to have one of each. Use an eight millimeter and a nine millimeter deep socket. A little ratchet to uh, drive them in. A pair of needle nose pliers, straight pick, kind of a long screwdriver, and of course, a hammer. <laughs> so your rebuild kit should look something like that. Here's all the parts that you have in here. Two shiny end caps. Two nuts, two very small washers, four bearings, a couple of bushings, and two dust wiper seals. And this rebuild kit services uh, both of your pedals. So to start this out, uh, I am rebuilding the right pedal. You can tell the difference between the right pedal and the left pedal. If you look on the main part of the spindle, you will see a CM-R, R stands for right. On the other side, it'll be stamped CML for left pedal. Um, I'm, I'm doing the right pedal for this rebuild because it's the one that I'm grabbing right now. I'm going to put the left one aside. So there is one big difference between left pedal and right pedal. Um, and we'll get to that here in just a second. First, we're going to uh, remove the end cap. End cap, you just need a six mil. Pop this guy off of here. So when you look down in there, basically all you're going to see staring back up at you is one of these nuts. And that's where you're going to take your 8mm deep socket, you're going to drop that in there, make sure it grabs onto that. Now this is the big difference between a left pedal and a right pedal. So again, we are working on a right pedal. Now the right pedal is reverse threaded for this nut. And what that means is that if we want to get this nut off of the spindle, we need to turn the nut clockwise. There it is. There's your nut. You still have a little washer in there. Your spindle should come out just like that. So this is your spindle. This is what you have going on inside of there. All right, so let's set this stuff aside. We're gonna go now over to the vise and uh, get these bearings out. I'm gonna start with clamping my pedal with the bearings on the, uh, on the bottom end of the pedal over here. And I'm just gonna take a screwdriver and a hammer and tap these, uh, tap these bearings out. Basically kind of work, hit on one side of the bearing and hit on the other side and hit on the other side and kind of, kind of wiggle it out of the, uh, out of the pedal. Once you get the old bearings out, the only thing left in the pedal body is the bushing. So flip the pedal body over, and there's a couple of ways that you can get the old bushing out. Uh, the first method is to tap the bushing out with a hammer and a screwdriver. If that doesn't work, flip the pedal over and use a hammer and a pick to pry a piece of the bushing away from the pedal body and then pluck it out with some needle nose pliers. Clean out the inside of the pedal body with a piece of cloth, and you're ready for rebuild. Alright, so first up, on your spindle, take your new, your new rubber washer, that's just kind of a dust washer type thing there, slip it on there. You can, on your old spindle, clean it off if it's dirty. This is a new one that, we're, that I'm working with. Come back over here to the pedal. Um, I'm working with the, the, uh, this is actually the inside of the pedal, um, inside edge of the pedal, so the, the, the side that does not have any threads on it. And we are going to 
just like just the reverse order of what we just got through doing. Um, so this bushing, check it out. You'll see that there is a, a beveled edge on one side of this bushing and not a beveled edge on the other. Beveled side goes down. Push that as far in as you can with your fingers. The nine millimeter socket will also fit in there pretty nicely. See how that feels on my hands. See how it's doing. Seems to be driving in, driving the uh, bushing in there nice and straight. And what I'm doing here is I'm kind of feeling with my fingers. I'm feeling that socket going down in there, and I'm waiting for it to kind of bottom out. Right, right there. It just kind of you'll feel it on the hammer. It'll go from moving it in there to kind of like, you know, it'll all of a sudden just feel like you're kind of hitting it on, on concrete. So once that bushing is in there, you're done with that side. Next up, we'll go over here to the threaded side. So this is the, this is the side that the end cap fits into. This is the outside edge of your pedal, depending on how you are referring to what you're doing. But we're on the side that has threads on it over here on this side. Now we're going to uh, tap these bearings in. So these are the old bearings, this is the old stuff. I'm going to slide this out of our way now. This is where a Q-tip and a little dab of grease will be your friend. I'm going to go one bearing at a time. These bearings are going to be stacked on top of each other, just like that. But I'm going one bearing at a time. Nice. That one slid right into place. Cool. This one might do it as well. Yeah, cool. Next up, spindle time. Run your spindle through there. Since my bearings came out pretty easily, I'm just kind of holding my fingers over there. Um, again, this is where you would grease it up. I already have some grease on here. I might put a little bit of my stuff right here. Bearings in, sliding in. As I'm looking at this, my bearings have come up a little bit, like I'm not able to put this nut on there. So I am gonna use this method of uh, using the end cap to, and this is the old end cap. Um, I'm gonna use this to finish pressing those bearings in there just so that they're pressed in nice and straight. Get your six. Let that press in. Actually, I don't even need to get that much though. We're just going pretty easily. Once I'm flush there. Do not screw up right here and go, sweet, my pedals are ready to go and go put them on your bike because you still need to get, these, get this nut on there. So um, yeah, don't screw up and Pull a bonehead maneuver and shut this video off and go riding your bike off into the sunset because your pedal might fall off. First up, washer. It's a very small washer. I kind of got, it's like a ring toss game there. Once you see that you got your washer in there, I'm gonna switch over to, uh, I'm gonna put that nut inside of my, uh, just right there inside of my socket. Now remember, this one is the reverse thread, so this could be a very frustrating thing if you get to this step and you're going the wrong way. There we go, went right in. Put a six on the back end of that. Grab my socket. Driver, and I'm on this. Is, so this is the right pedal. So I'm going counterclockwise right now to tighten this thing. I'm just tightening it up so it's nice and snug. You don't have to get crazy with this stuff. After that, last step. So I'm just going to put a little bit of grease on this. I'm not going to go hog wild with it, but just so over time. 
as I smash this pedal and beat this pedal on rocks and do all that over time it'll uh, the next time I do this service it'll uh, be a little bit easier you go screw in your uh, end cap I like to put it so that that end cap is just ever so slightly screwed in past the end of the pedal. That way as I smash this pedal on rocks and stuff, it'll hopefully save the end cap so that I, I can remove it easier. So there you have it guys. Rebuilding a set of catalyst pedals from Pedaling Innovations. Thanks for watching. Got any questions? Hit me up down below. See ya.